Wake the streets up Everybody, it's Miss True Red Bone. Hey, on my trues, and we have Baby True with us today. Say hey, Baby True. Hi. <laughs> All right, you guys. So we're doing a interview with the 11 year old. All right, let's get this camera together. Sit up. All right, interview with the 11 year old, you guys, and make sure you check out her YouTube channel. It's Baby True. It will be in the description box. So if you have any kids or anything, even yourself, go ahead and um, subscribe to her channel. We're trying to make her great, okay? So we're discussing um, vitiligo today. Um, my baby has vitiligo. She is, uh, how old are you? 11. Okay, 11. All right, so let me explain if um, some people don't know what vitiligo is. So, um, let me let her tell you what vit no. vitiligo is first. Go ahead. No, we already discussed it. Go ahead. And it's when you don't have enough pigment in your skin. Okay. That's good. So, um, okay. So, vitiligo is a condition in which the pigment is lost from areas of the skin causing whitish patches. Um, often with no real cause. So when she was born, um, she was all my color, actually. <laughs> I guess I'm, I'm all over vitiligo. <laughs> no pigment. <laughs> but she, when she was born, she was, um, you know, just like this. And then when she hit, I'm sorry, y'all, I'm at home in my at-home clothes, so excuse me the sports bra underneath um she did not get her first little spot until you were two two years old two years old it was the size of a dime actually so um it really we really didn't pay it any attention um when she was around two years old. I actually first noticed it in a family portrait. And then maybe years later, it finally, you know, covered her whole eye. Um, she is a red, natural redhead. And um, I don't know if you guys are aware, natural red hair, redheads tend to have a lot of great hair strings in their hair already. So she already had that going on. But um, with vitiligo, you tend to see uh, maybe gray hairs or white hairs coming from, if it's hair in the area where the vitiligo patch is, you may see uh, white hairs or gray hairs coming from that area. And she definitely has that. Um, I wouldn't want her any other way. She is so beautiful to me with, with, that, uh, with her vitiligo. It actually uh, makes her baby true who she is so um she agreed to do an interview with with her mom uh about the vitiligo just so we can make people aware um and so people won't be so rude all the time when they walk up to people who have differences um from themselves so uh my first question is uh we already discussed it. Do you know what vitiligo is? And she explained that very well because best belief when she was old enough, she did her research, right? Mm -hmm. Um, What do you tell people when they ask you about the patch on your face? What do you tell people? I tell them what it is. Okay. And you just, and, and, and they, what? Do they just walk away or? You know, do they say thank you? Do they compliment you? What? No, they're just normal. And that's what you want, right? You want people just to be normal. Because it is, it's your normal, right? So, um, the patch on her eye, she's had 
like I said, it, it started when she was two and it progressed up to where it is now. And it's beautiful to me. You can, If you were close, you can see like the gray hairs coming out of it, the white hairs. Um, this patch right here just recently started maybe a year ago. Um, so let's see. Uh, has having vitiligo ever made you feel uncomfortable? Mm -mm. No? Mm -mm. You've always, you're, you're always comfortable wherever we go. Mm -hmm. Good, that's good. That's the way I want you to be. That's why we taught you what it was so early on and to make you confident, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, what type of comments do you get when we're out in public? And I'm gonna tell y'all my comments. People think that she's trying to make up on me. This when she was even younger, you guys, they would say, Oh, you put makeup on her eye. You know, I'll go into that in a second. And anything else? Um, we would always get the comment first, did you dye her hair? No, she's four. Look at mom. Why would I dye her hair? My hair was, my hair is naturally that color too, but with chemicals, you know, of course it changes everything. But I would have people just rude and um, ask me, you know, you put makeup on her face? What is that on her eye? And me being protective, you know, I, I'll, I first of all, I say, um, why does it matter to you? Because I, I'll never see you again. <laughs> why? Why does it matter? And why would you think that I would put makeup on a two, three, four year old? You know what I'm saying? But the best outcome that we found is just to educate, educate people on what it is. Um, I, I actually run into a lot of people with vitiligo and I just think that they are so freaking beautiful. Um, I'm different because I'm who I am. She's different because of who she is and, and her vitiligo and we're all different somehow, you know, and the only thing that we can do is actually be confident in our differences. Uh, what is the next question in my mind? Has anyone ever been rude or um, or made fun of you or anything for having did a lie go? Nobody at school or anything? And she probably has never ran into that because she's been in the same school since she, since kindergarten. Um, she's been in this, we've lived in the same area since she was a baby. So she's been around the same kids and she's even going to junior high with the same kids that she's been around. So everybody knows, you know, know, um, and, and know that's a part of who she is. So that's one thing we've been lucky about. Would you, would you ever want to change it? If you could change that about you? Sometimes. Sometimes? Okay, why? You don't know? If it was left up to me, I wouldn't change it about her. But it's, you know, when she becomes an adult, there's no telling what science comes up with and if she wants to change it or not. Would you ever cover it if you had makeup to cover it? You don't know now? Right now, you don't know. I know that. You try it, though. No, I don't. I tried it once and I was just like, okay. And if I do, I'm tired, y'all. Okay. We'll discuss it later. All right. So, um, when you found out you had vitiligo, who was the, what, what did you research first? What was the first thing that popped up when you did your research? A uh, uh, girl. What girl? Her name is Winnie Harlow. Winnie Harlow. She used to be infatuated with Winnie Harlow, y'all. What, what does Winnie Harlow do? Model. She's a model. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is so dope. I, I like Winnie Harlow too. Um, and she has, she has significant patches throughout her body. But I'm glad that was the first thing when she was old enough to realize what was going on. That was the first thing she did was went and did her research and. I believe that's where she found her confidence also. Um, last question. And and do you feel do you feel 
confident in your own skin? Do you feel like you're beautiful and all of that? Mm -hmm. You do? You should, because you are. <laughs> Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. And that's my baby, y'all. She is 11 years old and give me five. Good, good interview. Tell everybody, check out your channel. Uh, yeah. Oh, she gonna be shy, y'all. So she ain't gonna have no activity going on over there at Baby True, sit up. Um, so yeah, check out Baby True. I will put her information in the description box below. Thanks for hanging out with Miss True Redbone and Baby True. Tell your mama, daddy, sister, brother, auntie, uncle to come by here. She's such a dork. I'm not a secret. And don't let the door hit you with a good Lord's butcher. Y'all have a good night. And this is our last video for today. I am tired. Tired. All right. All right. Thank you, guys. Love you. Peace.